Hello guys and welcome to episode 78 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Last week I did a spaceship and I was only allowed to do E to extrude and S to scale for the entire duration of the 10 minutes and I failed. Ah! Someone rightly pointed out that around the 7 whatever mark I uh, pressed G to move, to grab. And the grabbing is banned. It wasn't allowed, as usual. So, hop, 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 hop. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, you can't rush these things. I know it's a 10 minute video. I know I have to rush things. I have to do things quick, but at least get it right. So I said just then that I'd press G to grab and that someone rightly pointed out something. And I was way off again, as usual. So I0BG in the Discord said, literally at, at 7.15, he used inset. Where did I get grab from? It was I to inset that I did at 7.15. And here we'll do those intakes. So I zero BG, thanks for pointing that out. Proper fail. And I don't know how I couldn't even remember it. I'm getting loopy. And as I went to check this in my discord that I should be attending a lot more than I actually have had time for lately. I also scrolled down and I saw that Kegovic, uh, Obel and Rossi Bossi had sent some nice cakes. And I think there's probably other birthday wishes here as well. I'm just missing left and right, all sorts of stuff that's going on. So apologies for that. Uh, I'm going to focus on cranking out videos. That's my main objective. So I don't start skimping on that at least. So bear with me. Maybe I'll be able to have a little bit more time in the Discord as well. Hopefully, at least we've got this time. If you're watching the premiere, which you should do, then at least we're chatting now, probably. Uh, that's one thing I really try to stick to. I stick to that chat. So, but join the Discord anyway, because even though I might not be able to be there all the time, or most of the time, there's a lot of cool people that are there. And every now and then, usually after the 10 minute videos, I drop by as well. <laughs> all right, let's get back to the video. Also, I'm on 178K subscribers. Very thankful for that one. And uh, as you might be aware, when I hit 200K, I'm gonna do another 24 hour live stream of uh, Blender modeling. That should be a lot of fun. Hopefully I'll hit that target around the one year celebration from the 100K subscriber. So in September, I think, uh, according to my predictions, that's gonna happen. So if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing and let's get to the 200K mark so we can spend another 24 hours and just uh, fry our brains out and not sleep. I'm getting too old for that, but should be fun. All right, a little isometric room. Here we go in three, no, no, no. I have to say it the usual way. Ready, steady, go, and we're off. Yay, and I can use all the keys this time. Hold the control key, snap it down. Bring that up and I'll just extrude some walls here. All T to extrude long face normals. Grab these and bring them up. I'm going to do a living room. I haven't done that before. As far as I know anyway. So maybe like uh, there. Small living room. A to select all of it. A and the brown floor. Let's make it a little bit paler here. Maybe uh, this color. Very pale. And white walls though. Bland, like it. Shift D, duplicate this one. Scale X, and then we'll do a rug here. We'll put a TV and stuff here. E to extrude. L and bland mat as well. Should make it green? Yeah. Green carpet. And a couch here. Shift D, duplicate. Scale X, scale it down. And we'll put the couch, I think, all the way here by the wall. Scale X. And we'll put a TV and a little TV cabinet thing. E to extrude this one. L to select the link. What color should the couch be? Um, beige color. Let's go bland if we're started with it. Let's keep going. L to select the link, bring it up slightly. I'm just going to put some simple sides here to the couch. So I'm going to duplicate this face, scale it up slightly. Not going to bother with uh, precision again for an OCD person like me. Skipping precision is uh, like therapy. So Shift D, duplicate this one, and Shift D, duplicate scale X, uh, move that back, and E to extrude this one. That's gonna be the couch. Super simple, but very big, very big. So let's scale it down. There we go. And uh, should we do, I'll do a little TV cabinet here. Scale, Shift, whatever, I pressed them. <laughs> Lost track of, track of things. Scale uh, X, a little bit bigger, there we go. Um, we'll bring this one up to, ooh, you can see there, scale Y, a little bit smaller there. E to extrude and L, let's make this one a light brown. There we go. Spend more time trying to pick the colors here. Uh, this one we'll put legs on, I think. So shift D, duplicate scale, scale Y, scale down and 
Let's put the leg in the corner. Nobody put legs in the corner. Well, I did. Well, move that one down. Alt Z to see through, Shift D to duplicate, and L to select this one, Shift D, and bring it to there, and Alt Z, that's it. Shift D, let's make a TV, scale Y, and E to extrude. It's gonna be a flat TV, of course. Should make an old uh, CRT style thing. Um, we'll do Shift D to duplicate that one, E to extrude, L to select the link to there. And then let's put the big display here. Shift D because I'm only going to see the backside on this one. So I'm going to obsess again with the details. I never do, but E to extrude. Items that I'll still put a TV screen though. If I really wanted to, I could make this emit color at some point. Uh, e to extrude, and that's it. Should we do make a fancy stand here instead? I think so. Check this out. That's a bit posh. There we go. It's very wide. Very wide. So let's make it a little bit less wide. Scale Y, that's it. And here we'll put a scale, a table or something. A little table next to the couch on each side, maybe. With a plant on, we could do. Scale, bring it up. E to extrude that on. And L, select again, a brown, darker brown, maybe. How am I doing? Six or five, time goes fast when you, when you do more objects. Time goes faster, it feels like. So, E to extrude. Hopefully that's connected, I don't know. No one will see. No one will know if it's connected or not. L, Shift D, and here. L, L to select these linked, all of them actually. And then Alt Z, Shift D, let's put another table here. Let's cheat a bit, let's copy it to that side. And here we'll do um, a little plant. Shift D, or a light here, I'll do E to extrude, Shift D to duplicate that one, E to extrude, Shift D, scale it up, then E to extrude, and L to select linked. I'll put the emissions of color here. I don't know what it'll look like, because I'm not going to render it. So that's a cliffhanger. So there we go. I want it to be a little bit more orange, actually. Cozier. That's it. And here we'll put a plant, Shift D, E to extrude, S to scale, low poly of course. And Shift D to duplicate that one, E to extrude, Shift D, scale. It's gonna be like a very simple plant because I don't have time to make it complicated. Again, beauty with time restrictions is that uh, you don't have to bother. Ha! <laughs> scale, oh, scale. That's a, like a bonsai tree, the ugliest bonsai tree in the world. She, should I have some sort of a tail, teal color, whatever it's called? A pot color, there we go. And here we can put a shelf, Shift D to duplicate that on. Scale Y. And I have to think of something else, some other type of furniture to be here as well. We'll put the cabinet there. E to extrude that on. Control R, should we do some height inset? E to extrude. And Control R. Now I'll just do the the usual things here. Control R. Control R. Control R. Let's make some separate door here. A lot of loop cuts. Item inset. Item inset began for the individual. And 349. What? Where? Did, what happened with time this episode? L to select the linked. We need a different color. I'm gonna stick to the blandness of bland here. So that'll do. And here I guess I'll do another shelf thing here. So I'll do Shift D and E to extrude that on. L to select the linked scale by bringing it into there. And I still haven't thought of anything else to make here, so let's do a window, I guess. Shift D, scale, bring it up to there, maybe. I'll be here. E to extrude that on. I to inset. E to extrude. And here I'll still put a missive. No one will know what it looks like. Unless you're a patron, you can download this and render it. I think it'll look hideous if I rendered it. And we'll put a curtain rail here. I'll steal this one. Shift D. E to extrude. Alt select linked. Scale Y. And color. Maybe, uh, is it wood again? A lot of bland colors here. 
there we go and I'll, I'll just put some simple curtains here so shift d to duplicate that one scale it down scale y bring it to here and bring down e to extrude should we bring them down to the floor nearly yeah and let's stick with the bland stuff shall we so i'll go with a red color of some sort no yeah i will l shift d to duplicate that one so that's a couple of curtains and what should we put here shift d a little uh sofa couch thing not a couch i've got a couch like a chair of some sort uh, two minutes whatever happened to time i'm gonna put this one on a slant so l to select the link stick to the bland colors there like a green color a little bit more color maybe there and i'll stick to the simple simple theme here so why e to extrude this one shift the scale y scale z e to extrude l shift d and i'm gonna steal the legs now from this little table this is the nice thing with working in the same object that you can borrow geometry quite simple from other stuff shift d to duplicate that one and l to select the link shift d duplicate to there and here again i think yeah, i've done this technique before i'll do some books here scale scale y x scale and here we go e to extrude and then we'll just do some random color books here shift d scale it up i'm not gonna have time to fix the positioning shift d so let's just live with the fact that they're hovering a little bit shift d how many books can i do shift d i've only got 37 seconds to go scale z ah Shift D. I'm not going to be able to do anything else, so let's just do some more books. Rotate Y. This one tilts. Uh, it's too bright, too much color. So Shift D. Rotate Y. And G. Let's make a blue book. Shift D. Let's just put something on top here. I have no idea. It's a box of junk. That always goes on the top. I'll have time for one more. Ah, oh, similar color. That's it. Ah! Ah! Stop, 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 stop. Let's test it out in isometric mode. Five. It always looks funky. What do you think, guys? Uh, usually I tend to like the cavity look, of course, for my low poly stuff. It always makes everything shine and look a little bit uh, more, I don't know, polished or more detailed than it really is. But for this isometric room, I think I might prefer the really flat look that this one brings, the normal shading. And maybe it's because it reminds me a little bit more of the, maybe not the pixel art style, but it could be like an art illustration or like a vector graphic thing, maybe that you'd do. So this could be a good thing to practice, I think. Uh, maybe do like a whole bunch of different isometric rooms. So it could be a good practice, maybe not to stress it in 10 minutes, because I noticed that when you make models and many objects in uh, like a room or something, I think time accelerates. It's like going uh, like into a black hole or something. The more objects that you create, the more it'll feel like you're in a black hole. If you didn't know what I'm going on, it's because time accelerates with gravity. So if you're in a place where there's a lot of gravity, Time actually moves faster. And here's a really fun and useless fact for you. The closer to the speed of light that you travel, the faster time will go for you. So it's quite insane. If you go to like a search on the internet and go a light speed time cal dilation calculator, and then you'll find out that if you're going like at 99.9999999 whatever percent of the speed of light, and you travel away and then you come back. If you're going fast enough, you could only travel for like uh, a week back and forth or something. And 100,000 years will have passed when you come back to Earth. Yeah, I don't know why I'm going about this for. Anyway, check out the time dilation calculator. It's quite interesting to see. I'm booting up my Instagram account again. I haven't used that for a long time, but I've prepped some low poly characters that are sharing the same armature. So I'm just batched up a whole uh, daily post thing to go for uh, quite a bit in the future here. So you get like one new character every day on my Instagram. So follow me there if you haven't uh, followed me there. <laughs>
All right, take care everyone. Enjoy your summer and come back next Thursday for another 10 minute modeling video. We're gonna do episode 79 then and uh, we're closing in on that uh, 100 count, insane. Give it a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.